There it is, guys. The JL Caddy is coming back, coming back out better than before. Every time I'm out of these cruise nights, these shows, you guys always asking me, you still have your car? What are you doing to it? Did you sell it? Nope. It's right here, we're right here in my backyard, and I'm gonna document everything and bring you guys along the whole process. Stay tuned. To the streets, to the shows and everything you see them just low riders. Come through clown and nursing clean. Bout to let us see the cars leap. I see them watch just low riders. Bumper checking on repeat. And bending corners on the three, you see them watch just low riders. Slipping switches in them streets. All right, the show sitting clean. I see them on just low riders. What's up, guys? For those that don't know me, my name is Carlos, aka Just Low Riders, aka JL. I'm not much of a camera guy. I prefer to be behind the camera, not in front of it. But now I'm gonna be showing myself a little bit more so you guys can recognize me out of these shows, at these cruise nights, without having to see my JL shirt on first. Now before I jump into telling you guys about the car, I'm gonna do a little background story on myself. Low riding for me started the day I was born and I've been documenting low riders for over 10 years now. If it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Since being in a car seat and a low rider, I was always around them or in them. My dad always had them growing up, we were always going to different shows, so it was always in me to be in this lifestyle. I was born in 1997 in Oakland, California, and my pops was already out on the scene out there cruising. He always had Cadillacs, so it was as if it was destined for me to have one being my first lowrider. This is what he was riding back then. I found a few pictures to show you guys to see what he was cruising. Here he is on 3 wheel right here for Sequel the Mile Weekend in Oakland. This one right here was my favorite right here. Here I am in the back seat in the corner. Car is still out there to this day. A buddy of ours has it in Richmond. Here's another car, another Cadillac that he had. Here I am posted up next to it. Here it is on three wheel. It was a nice blue color with a white top with the gold accents. It stood out a lot. This was another clean ride he had. He had a G body, a cutlass. This one was fully patterned out, pinstripe. It was nice. He had the caddy and the cutlass back to back. Back in the days, he was in Azteca's car club here in Modesto. It was a nice cutlass. I was able to find some pictures of him back in the days with the club, Azteca's in the magazine. Here he is posted up. Here's another Cadillac that he had. He had this one for a little while. This one was another clean one. Had a nice lockup to it. It was chromed out. It was nice. Then finally came the big body, a 96 Cadillac, just like mine's. Here it is getting painted out there in Tijuana, getting the gold touch to it. This is what started it all, guys. I guess this was the, the first JL Caddy. This was the start. Here it is all stocked before it was lifted. The mural got put in out there in TJ, and this is how it looked once it was all finished. Here it is lifted, raised up in the back. This was my probably my most favorite one. And just like my dad, I was always in the show scene. I was able to find a few pictures that he took back in the days. So I feel as if it was just passed on over to me. It's pretty cool to see all these pictures that he was taking back in the days at these car shows. Some of these cars are still out today. Here we have Del Toro. Looks like it was a street low show back then. I was always in the show scene, and wherever my dad went, I was there. As a kid, I would be taking pictures with an old camera my dad had, but I wouldn't do anything with the pictures. I was just a kid. I wish I still had that camera. I'm not sure whatever happened to it. But as I got older, when I was about 15, 16, that wasn't until I believe 2012, 2013, when I decided to post everything I see. It was around the time Instagram was first getting popular, and I decided to make the account. I remember coming up with the name. The only thing I wanted to get pictures and videos of was just lowriders. And that's when it hit me. I decided to put it together and that's how the name was born. Now at that time, I didn't have no camera or anything like that. I had the very first iPad that ever came out. So there I was going to every show with the iPad, taking pictures, and that's how I started off. If it wasn't for my dad taking me everywhere, going here, going there, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I've met tons of people throughout the years, going to different cities, different states. I went from an iPad to the first GoPro that came out and then to a Canon. 
It wasn't for a few years later that I got the Canon camera for my birthday, and that's when my pictures started to look more professional. I'm thankful for those that's been following and seeing my journey grow throughout the years. And for all the new people to this day following me, thank you. I appreciate all the support. I'm glad I stuck with this and didn't give it up. I'm blessed I was able to build a brand that's now worldwide. I appreciate everyone supporting me from all over the world, having my sticker on your guys' windshield, watching my videos, shopping on my website. I appreciate everything. Now let's get into the caddy build, guys. For those that don't know, I have a big body. This is how it looked before we started stripping everything apart. I actually got this car for my birthday a few years ago. This is how it looked. Everything was already done to it. It was cut. Big shout out to my dad. Best birthday present ever. After that, my plaque came in, two-toned and engraved. Had to put the JL logo on it. I did have a simple setup in it two pumps, six batteries. At that time, I needed new batteries. First place I went to, but that's the battery. This is how the setup looked, nice and clean, simple. This is the first time I met my guy Manny, and the rest was history. One thing I really liked about this car is that this car laid all the way down to the floor. It laid real nice, front and the back. This car wasn't reinforced, had no bridge, nothing. But I always hopped the back on this car. Any day it would have, it would have broke. But there it was. You know, I was, I was just having fun with the car, hopping the back here and there. And then boom, my quarter panel finally buckled on me from not having no fiberglass, hopping the back. This is the only picture I have saved from that day. That's how much it was to fix each dent on each side. But I had fun though, and that was the last of the caddy. Never came out ever again. The car did sit for a while, didn't touch it, it was just sitting here at the house in the garage. But now I'm gonna bring you guys into what we started doing to it recently. Everything started to get stripped apart. You guys stay tuned for the whole build. I'm gonna bring you guys along the whole process and show you guys everything that I'm doing to it. So it's not gonna look like this anymore, it's gonna look a lot better. So I appreciate you guys for watching. And now we jump into it. Right here, we're getting everything stripped apart, all the moldings, the chrome. We're getting it prepped for pinstriping finally. And all the interior started getting gutted out, getting it ready, prepped. The paint was still clean on the car. I didn't want to repaint it. All I wanted to do was just silver leaf and gold leaf it. That's it. And the rest can stay the same. Once we stripped everything off, me and my dad started sanding it down, getting ready for pinstriping. We also got all the interior together, the seats, the dash, get everything ready so we could go get uh, quoted on everything to see how much everything was gonna come out to, the seats, door panels, everything. Now the car is fully prepped, ready to go to the pinstriper. We took it to Delgado Customs to get it all leafed up. We're about to load it up on the trailer to head out that way. I didn't want to go too crazy on the striping. I just wanted gold leaf and silver leaf. And I also wanted my logo on the trunk. So you guys stay tuned for that and see how that comes out. Here we are loading it up. About to head out to Tracy, California to drop the car off so we could get started on it. Here we are dropping it off. Once he saw the car, he said he wanted to throw some color on it. He said a lavender goes great with gray. And at first, I was hesitant. I didn't know if I wanted it or not. Then I told him, do what you think looks best, and he sends me this. My logo and gold leaf with the lavender color came out clean. Perfect size. I didn't want no big billboard logo on the trunk. It was a perfect size for the trunk and it came out sick. 
Then a few weeks pass, and he calls me and tells me the car is ready. And this is how it looks, guys. Gold leaf, silver leaf, with the lavender color on it to make it pop, to give it some color. It came out really good, and I can't wait to see it cleared. There's a mixture of different grays on the pinstriping with the logo in gold leaf with the lavender. Nice and subtle, nothing too crazy, just perfect. Just what I imagined, he did it. Came out really good. It looked way better than I thought with the lavender color. At first, I was kind of scared on throwing a little purple on there, but it looks really good with the gray. It changed the whole car look. It came out a lot better than I thought. So we started moving on things little by little, pinstriping to check off the list, and the interior was next. I decided I wanted to do some stitching on my seats. On the headrest, I'm gonna put JL Edition on the front seats and on the back in the middle. Then I decided to sell the rims that I had bought in the beginning that I was gonna put on the car when it was all done. All gold hunter spokes. I even got custom chips made with my logo that I was gonna put on. So I kept the knockoffs but sold the rims. So you guys stay tuned on what rims I'm gonna do next. We got the frame at the shop. Everything's gonna be done right this time, guys. <laughs> this is the car now. It's dirty. We still gotta clear coat it. But that's coming next. Episode two will be dropping soon. Thank you guys for watching.